Right here, ma'am. Right this way. Yep, yep. No worries. Pictures are more than welcome. That's why we're here to show off for you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started so we're not all just standing here awkwardly looking at me. I know I appreciate the tension. But so. This right here is the bridge. This is the how we are going to drive the ship. So the two chairs that are behind you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is we got our CO's chair, the captain's chair right there. That is our, where he sits, he commands, tells everyone what to do, where we're going, what we're gonna be doing. So the chair over here, we got for the XO. He's the second in command. He's the guy that goes, sir, that's probably not a good idea. Let's do it this way. And he's like, I'm still gonna do it my way. <laughs> so, you'll see various uh, knobs and screens up here. This is how we uh, drive the ship. We look at different things. I asked you to not actually touch anything, but you're more than welcome to look. Uh, we have different things up here. So, this console right here is how we control our engineering plant. So this is the main control panel for it. This is how we can do a lot of the stuff. We can go faster, slower, turn different things on and off. We have various things up here for letting the officer of the deck, the guy who's in overall in charge of driving the ship, making sure he's doing it safely, still paying attention to what the commanding officer is telling him to do. Then we have our junior officer of the deck over here. He's the guy that relays the orders to the officer of the deck to go, hey, that's probably not the best idea. I think we should do it this way. He says, still do it my way. Captain knows, you know, that's probably still not a good idea to do it this way. So there's a lot of checks and balances on board here, but that's because we got to do it safely, we got to do it correctly, and we got to do it efficiently. It's what the Navy's about. Uh, right here, we got different various instruments to help us do that job. On the mast up top, we have different radars to help us see different things out there. We got to have the ability to see different aircraft. We got to be able to see different surface ships. Human eye can only see so far. We use all these different various things to expand what we can actually see because you need to be able to see in this uh, new age what's out there over the horizon before it gets to you so you can accurately uh, describe, fight what may be coming your way. So you're more than welcome to wander around, take pictures, look at various things, but please do not touch anything. I appreciate that. Are there any questions that you guys want to ask? I am more than willing to answer questions. So, on board here, uh, since we are a minimally manned crew, we do not have a Bosome of the Watch. We actually mo operate with only like three to four people up here to run the entire ship, drive and do all those things that back in the day that they used to. So what he's talking about, a Bosome of the Watch. A Bosome of the Watch is a guy who actually drove the ship. The two officers that I was talking about that did all that driving here, he would actually be doing that. He would actually be making the ship go faster, slow, turning the ship. But on board here, we don't have enough people to do that. We're minimally manned. So we have multiple hats to do multiple different things. Uh, the quartermaster that he was talking about is a guy whose job is to look at various charts and maps to drive the ship where we're supposed to actually be and to stay on course. We do that with this much less amount of people and so everyone like I keep saying multiple different hats you got to have your head on a swivel that's why these ships are usually a very senior amount of people now on board here we have <coughs> lots of experience in the Navy lots most people here have at least five years of service wow. how many people on board so on board in typical LCS we roll with about 75 personnel compared to the DDG who runs with about 250. So that makes a lot to do for us, but that's why we're all senior because we have learned to deal with that kind of stuff. What is your shift like? Is it? Uh, there's various types of shift. Uh, sometimes it varies up. Sometimes we're gonna be working quite a bit more than normal. Yeah. Depends on what's going on. Missions gotta get it done. You gotta do it safely efficiently and the mission still has to get done you've got to do what you got to do uh, we have a maximum speed that we like to tell everyone of 40 knots 
<laughs> and so for a car, that would be like going 60 plus over land. Okay, I got another question. You said that you practiced the cannon. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah, where do you practice? So that? we go out in the middle of the ocean and we like to blow up a big balloon that look, it's a big, big red balloon. We like to call it a killer tomato. And we take shots at it. We like to go pew pew and shoot at the thing. Anybody else? Don't do it in Staten Island, because I'll hear it. I'll jump off my bed. No windows. No windows, no. Is that reason? No, uh, we just, uh, most modern Navy has gotten away from windows. So you have windows up here in the front so you can see everything, but you keep windows out of the way so that. Uh, it prevents, uh, that's glass. Glass really breaks really easy, and you go through a lot of rough seas on these things. Do you have to, do you have to sleep on the plane? I have to actually sleep on board here. There's plenty of different, uh, we have beds here, we have bunks here, and we eat here. We eat, sleep, do everything here when we're actually out. What, what food do you eat? Do you have a, do you like, like in a package? Nope, so what you're talking about is MREs, meals ready to eat. We don't actually eat these. On board here, we actually have food, people who are actually dedicated to cooking food. That is their job. How's so the they cook us. Food. That food's great. Food good so enough. we're actually going to start heading out to the next station. And future officer, look at that. We can start talking. I can answer much more questions out. We're just going to get the next 